All right, I'm going to show you some other things that we can do now that we have that crate textured. All right, uh, here's the neat thing. So let me unhide everything just one more time here. And let's zoom out. And I'm going to go delete that box. And can take this one, shift drag it, duplicate it. Now what's interesting is that the mapping coordinates come along with it so I can actually you know come back here and you know let's rotate that around and if I put a a UV map on that if I highlight just that box you know and then throw a UV unwrap the coordinates come with it which is great so I'm gonna go ahead and collapse that I can actually create or paint a new texture on here and give it a different look somewhat. So I can go back to my Photoshop and you know what, let's say uh, I don't want this to be there. I can have it on this one. You know, maybe I want to put some blood. I don't know. I'm just, whoops, let me minimize that. There we go. Let me open that up a little bit. Let me close this out. Let me get some uh, some more paints in here. Get a brush and you know what? I'll use one of these and or one of those. Yeah. Let's resize our brush down here. I'm using my brackets and I'm just gonna get kind of like a, a red texture of some sort. You know, I'm gonna keep my opacity down, 47. You know what, I'm just going to go ahead and um, put something there. You know, maybe change the tone a little bit. Just to make it a little more interesting. And then I'm going to give it a different grunge look. Or grunge paintbrush. Whoops. And let me go. Yeah, just to kind of, yeah, there we go. To dock it up a little bit. And with that, even that layer alone, we can sit here and go in our blend mode and get different kinds of looks. There we go. Maybe darken it up. Something like that. Maybe we want some more blood. Maybe I want some blood over here. And so, yeah, there we go. Now, you know what? We don't want the blood there because it'll put it on all sides since we stacked it. That wouldn't look too right. Let's put it over, let's put it on, I don't know, somewhere here. And let's get a couple more. I don't know, we're just going to throw them on there somewhere. And I'm going to resize this a bit. We'll put it right there. And let me go with a different, a little lighter. Like I said, I'm just kind of uh, decorating it up a little bit. All right, and then I may, you know, that's all dark. And so that looks pretty good. So with that one, I can go ahead and file, save as, and we can call this one JPEG, and we'll call this new crate, because here's our first one, new crate. We'll call this new crate diffuse one. And the other one's just new crate diffuse, and then we can go new crate diffuse one, then two, and so forth. I'm gonna press okay. Now with that, I can go actually into another shader or even to make things you know more organized, I can click on this one, the one that we've been using, go standard, change it to a multi sub object and you know keep the old sub material. And what we'll do is we'll call this create one and I'll just drag that one on this one and make sure my maps are shown in viewports now this one we'll call crate 2 and we'll load the new map in that one so I'll go bitmap and let's go to new I think this is uh where's that new crate one this one right here with the blood on it open that up and let's go ahead and click on parent level and make sure you turn on map show maps and viewport and then from there we can drag that one onto this there we go and then I believe if we kind of rotate this around I think the blood's probably let's 
center that in. I'm going to activate the pivot point and center it to the box. That way I want to turn it. It's There we go. There goes our blood. And we probably got our sign down at the bottom somewhere. I bet you it's on the bottom. I won't, there it is. So let's um, let's go ahead and uh, rotate this. Maybe 180. And then we'll try to find it. I'm not sure where I put it. Maybe it's 180 this way. Uh, we better not because these boxes are not the same size on all angles. Alright, that's good enough, Joe. I just want to show, you know, we can get the blood right there. Alright, let's angle it over here. Alright, now, here's another interesting thing. See, now we have two different crates, and if I want to, we can paint another third texture. Alright, but check this out. I'm actually going to click on him. And we're going to drop a UV map back on here. The unwrap, that is. Alright. And if I go to edit, you can see the, the coordinates still here. What I'm going to do is go ahead and drop this down and go to pick texture. Go to bitmap. And we're going to load in the first crate. I believe it was this one. Right? Or no, it was new crate. I'm sorry. New crate. Open that up. And now you can see the actual texture on there. That way we can kind of adjust things. So right here, this one alone, I can just grab that by going to, I'm going to grab the element so I grab it all. And I'm going to go ahead and rotate this map. And as you can see, as I rotate it, it fixes it right there. See, now watch. I can actually move this whole area to this one, and it'll show that map on there. Pretty interesting, huh? See, if I took it to the black, or right over there, see, that's what happens. It, it projects that map onto that face. So we want to keep it back on here, though, but I just wanted to change that upright. So that, I'm just letting you know that's how we can kind of uh, control our mapping. If, you know, things are, you know, maybe things are stretched out a little bit too much, you know, we can come back and grab a certain area, or, you know, maybe just certain points. You know, not the whole element itself, but maybe a certain section, you know, and then we can actually just stretch those verts to match or, you know, uh, stretch out our faces. So that's how you can adjust things on the fly. All right, I'm going to go ahead and close that. And, you know, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and lock that in place. Now, of course, uh, you know, I believe this one was mapped. So I'm going to drag, I think it was this one on here. I'm going to drag that on there. Uh, there you go, see? And then I'll probably just fix that. But the cool thing is you only have to truly map one of these. And then, you know, like I said, just duplicate them. And then you can paint your textures and rename them, you know, accordingly to what you feel, you know, how you want these to look. And that's pretty much the breakdown of unwrapping. You know, now, like I said, I could... You know, we can sit here and uh, UV map this. Uh, I mean, you know, basically procedural it and fit it on there. But like I said, I want to get more into the unwrapping portion. So you have total control of what you wanted to do. Or, you know, what you wanted to paint on. Now, the one last thing I wanted to show you before I stop this is how to, you know, create your bumps and specs, which I showed in an earlier video. But this is the importance of having control of all your layers. So if I go to Photoshop, now for example, the one with the blood on it. For example, we would want the wood to be bumped out, but not the rest of the paints and stuff. So we would hide those layers, and we would hide, you know, the the skull right here, the skull texture, or whatever you want to call that, the bio warning label. And then this would, would be the texture that we turn into a bump map. So I'd take the, you know, I'd go to um, that layer, the wood layer, image, adjustments, hues and saturations, and we would bring this down to black and white, and I would save this as my bump. And I know this is uh, the one with the blood on it, which is new crate diffuse one so we'll call this new crate diff, you know bump one 
All right. And now I want to get my specular, but you know, we want maybe certain things to be specular, you know, have a specular highlight to them. So I might uh, create that, bring this down, saturation on that. All right. Oops, make sure I'm on that layer. Image adjustments, hues and saturation. And then maybe our blood. We're going to saturate down image adjustments, hues and saturation. And then, of course, that looks pretty good. We don't have to do the grunge. That's already kind of grayed out or blacked out like that. That's fine. Uh, but, you know, I'm going to go ahead and uh, create the specular highlight all in one shot. So I'm actually going to take those. Oops. Let me get rid of that. Oops. There we go. I'm going to take all these, right click, merge the layers. Ooh, maybe we don't want to do that. Yeah, we better not. Let's go ahead and um, take this layer. Hold on, maybe I can merge the layers there. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. I missed that last layer. So I'm going to do that again. So I'm going to highlight this. Control, control, control. Oops, I didn't mean to. Yeah, there I go. Kick that mask again. Let me deselect that. All right, so I'm going to grab this one, this one. This one and this one. Oh, not that one. Right click, urge layers. And then from here, I'm going to actually create the specular all, all in one shot. So I'm going to go image, adjustments, levels, crank the blacks down and increase the whites a bit. Something like that. That looks pretty good. And I'm just going to go file, save as, and look for, uh, I'm going to make it a JPEG and look for the, see we wanted a new crate. Not the fuse, but we're going to call this one the spec. I'm going to save that out. Press OK. Now if I were to bring this into 3D Max, now let's find out the ones, you know, we did the one with the blood, so it's this one right here. So I can actually use the bump for at least all three of them. But let's go ahead and find the one that we used right here. And I believe it was crate two with the blood. So what I'm going to do is um, click in there, go to my maps, throw on our specular, which is bitmap. We're looking for the specular new crate spec right here. I'm going to open that up. As you can see, that kind of shines up a bit. So here, I'll go here. That way you can see it. So if I turn off my spec, it shines it up. And let's go ahead and get our bump in there now. So I'm going to click on my bump, bitmap, and let's go to, we got to look for new crate bump right there I'm gonna open that up and then you can see it bump out a bit there we go and yep, like I said make sure you there you go have your maps and you know shell maps and viewport all right let me go ahead and uh, change this back there we go all right now I have that that should all be in there so I'm going to hide on select and Z up on him so you can see our speculars and all that and there we go we got a nice looking bumpy kind of texture works off the lights looks pretty good so I'm going to go ahead and uh, unhide all this let's go back to our camera view so I'm going to hit C and as you can see, we have, you know, different, we got pretty much the same texture. Some of them are slightly different, you know, painted. We got blood on this one, little grunge on this one. This one had none. I'm going to go ahead and render this out to see how everything's looking. 
All right, looks pretty good. And so there you go. There's our, you know, first breakdown of how to unwrap, uh, you know, basic geometry. But that, you know, I mean, the interesting thing was uh, being able to have total control of those layers in Photoshop. Um, now, like I said, we could easily procedural that, you know, just drop the whole texture on there and then just mapped it out and stretched it out until everything fit. But like I said, I think this is good practice and for you to understand how to break apart and unwrap your geometry, uh, especially for you game, you know, students in the, that are getting into the game art and design. I mean, you need to have con total control of your unwrapping your textures and stuff. So, all right, hopefully you learned something, man. Sorry this tutorial, you know, kind of carried over, but I really had to explain that thoroughly to my students. And if you happen to be online and find this, hopefully it helped you out as well. Like I said, there's plenty of other ways to texture. I was just showing you this one method for this. Of course, we'll get into uh, some mix mapping and uh, and um, you know some pelt mapping maybe in the future. But uh, what we're going to eventually do is uh, we're going to carry this tutorial on to other parts of it. Um, you know, we're end up we're going to be you know completing the whole scene. All right. Anyways, thanks for watching and. Uh, I'll see you soon, or you know, I'll, I'll catch you next time. All right, cool, man. I'm getting tired. <laughs> this is crazy. All right, later.